How's it going, everybody? It's Ben here. So, long time no see, I guess. I mean, it's been, I don't know, a month or two. I'm going to try and get back into making uh, videos for this channel a little bit more regularly. I've been, I have not been good with that this year. Uh, but today we're going to take a look at all the tractors that I picked up on my trip up to Maine. As you can see, we're up in beautiful Maine. And um, you guys got to keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be a full collection update video. That's every tractor that I currently own will be in one video coming up within the next week or so, I'd say. Um, so let's get right into this video. So let's take a look at everything that I picked up. For starters, I got this Arians that I obviously paid a lot of money for. Um, this thing's pretty sweet. Just found it on the side of the road. Figured I'd grab it. Figured it's worth something. Uh, sprayed some carb cleaner into the carburetor. Pulled it. It fired. A um, little bit of a weaker spark. That's why this is off right now. Um, checking spark on that. A little bit of a weak spark, but it seemed like it ran strong. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to post it up for sale for pretty cheap. I mean, like I said, it's... I figured someone's going to want it, you know, 50 bucks, something like that. Uh, but pretty cool. I, I like grabbing tillers. They're pretty neat little machines. Next, we have one of these Round Hood Craftsmans. Now, if anybody watching this can tell me anything about these tractors, what model they're supposed to be, you know, what colors they're originally supposed to be, any of that stuff, any information on this tractor, please let me know because I've looked it up and I cannot find a single thing, any literature, nothing. I can't find anything on this tractor. It's very obscure. Uh, but it's a really cool little mini mower. Um, I tried to get it running last night. I cleaned the carburetor like six times. Couldn't get it running for the life of me. Uh, so this might end up with a little predator in it. I don't know for a fact yet. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you can see it's just a tiny little tractor. Uh, not much to it, uh, but it's still pretty cool. And I would like to be able to drive this thing around at shows and whatnot. But I really don't feel like dealing with that Tecumseh. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Probably just going to restore it, but I can't tell what color it is. I've seen a lot of guys with them where they're black on the frame and white hoods and stuff, but this has orange underneath all the paint. I don't know. It's not even worth my time at this point. I'll probably just paint it something I think looks cool. Speaking of um, looking cool, this does not look cool. This is a uh, Honda 3810. Wish it was a 3813. I thought that's what I was going to grab. Unfortunately, it's not. Um... But I'm not sure who decided to paint it this ugly pastel blue color because uh, they didn't do a good job taping anything off because it's got overspray all over it. Uh, this is one of the little single cylinder ones. Um, you don't hear much about these at all. Uh, most of the guys like the 3813s and stuff like that. Or the 45 somethings. They have another new one now. Uh, but this is the older single cylinder version. Pretty cool little tractor. Um, guy said he couldn't get it running, but... He really wasn't, he said he wasn't mechanically inclined. So I figure if I can get it running, I'll sell it. Uh, if not, I will um, put it up for parts or restoration. I'll probably spray can it, so rattle can it black um, just to make it look a little bit more presentable because I'm not a big fan of that. Um, he did take, you can see he did tape off this area and then just gave up, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But yeah, I picked that thing up. It was just on a whims. I grabbed it by accident pretty much, and it was a good deal, so I figured why not pick it up. Next to it is a tractor I'm sure a lot of you guys never knew existed. You might be looking at this thing, and any of the uh, Massey guys probably know what it is, but if you know what a Massey Ferguson, like the MF-10, um, you're probably looking at it and being like, that's an MF-10. This, the only difference between that, this and the Massey Ferguson 10 is the hood and the grill. Um, it's kind of a cool looking grill. I like it a lot. I don't know what the plan is with this tractor. The real reason that I bought it was because it has those split Massey Ferguson weights on it, which I know are worth a decent amount of money. Um, so I figured I'd save this out of one of the local um, tractor junkyards that's up here. But it's a pretty cool little tractor. I'm just not sure what I want to do with it. I was thinking maybe a diesel swap, but unfortunately it looks like the rear end is seized in it. Not seized, it rolls, but um, like the shifter stuck. So I don't know. Maybe I'll find a Massey Ferguson 10 or 12 and just swap this hood and grill onto it and just call it a day there and then just say I have an, an AMF um, 1010 or whatever this thing's called. Uh, but I'm not too sure. I know those weights are going to get sold to a Massey guy. Uh, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. It's nice to have in my junkyard because um, if anybody needs parts, you know, there you go. Next up is this Massey Ferguson 8. So another Massey Ferguson. Um, I bought this thing because it has these little wheel weights on it. And uh, it's pretty cool. I think I already sold the wheel weights. 
not too sure um but you know pretty cool nonetheless it's a hydro i have had the massey sevens uh but those are gear driven this is actually a hydro which is pretty neat so um yeah if anybody's interested in parts off of this let me know i think the wheel weights are sold next up we have this bowens ride-o-matic pretty cool tractor i've always wanted one this thing is butchered though i gotta say it shouldn't have gears on this side our sprockets whatever uh, obviously that's the wrong motor it's the wrong hood everything's wrong about this tractor um, i'm gonna go ahead and put my little diesel into this i think make a whole new belt system chain system really redo all of this stuff uh, pretty much just because i like these i like the look of it the grill looks pretty cool on it it's just a neat tractor overall and i kind of want to save it and just have it in the collection Pretty cool though, very complicated rear end. I'm gonna have to really look into this thing and see what's actually up with it because I have never had one of those before. And then as you guys saw earlier, of course we have the Farmall Cub. Long story short, I had a Farmall Cub. I actually picked it up up here last year in October. I loved that tractor, but for whatever reason I decided I wanted to sell it and buy a John Deere Model H. Uh, not my brightest idea because I missed the Cub. So when this one popped up while I was up here with brand new rear tires, brand new lights, brand new battery, running and driving, I figured I'd had to grab it. It was a good deal. So here we are. And uh, that's going to go home and get completely cleaned and repainted. And I'm just going to keep it in the collection. But my favorite part about this is probably that it does have the crank start. I like that a lot. Um, you don't see that too often these days. But um, yeah, so there you guys go. That is the haul for my trip to Maine. If you guys are interested in seeing more tractor content, please let me know if you're interested in seeing anything specific. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys stick around for the full collection update that's going to be posted probably within the next two weeks. It'll definitely be up before Christmas because I have a big video planned for Christmas. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.